All right. Hello, everyone. Hello. My name's Tom. So, hi, Tom. Hi. hi. This is my second Rest and Tech Talks. Steve asked me to come over here. Sorry about that. <laughs> you, you could stand anywhere you want. It just won't be seen in the camera, which is fine. You could walk all the way down to the crowd, interact. They don't want them. to interact with me. Why would they do that? <laughs> there, it's no a quiet reason. crowd tonight. It's a they quiet what? crowd tonight. It's a quiet crowd tonight. It's a quiet crowd. We'll fix that. All right. All right. Any Aussies in the room? Any Aussies? No. Does anyone know any Aussies? <laughs> Except for me. Anyone else? Who? Sorry about that, mate. Sorry. Sorry. You're a what? You work for an Aussie-based company. We're out of where? Sydney? Perth? Oh, nice. You should get over there. It's real nice. They have nice beer over there, you know. Excellent, excellent. So, um, managing your data in a multi-cloud world. Who cares about this? Anyone? No. Oh, you do. That guy over there with the nice blue sport coat. What's your name? Will. Okay, great. Sit down, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, sit there. Find a chair. Sit down. This one over there. Um, okay, good. So, um, uh, uh, Carly, are you you here, Carly? Hi. Can you can you come up here? Is that all right? Is that right? You should come up. Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything bad. He's over right over there. He'll protect you. <laughs> All right, okay, ready? Now, Carly, this is Carly from Kinesix. Say, hi, Carly. Hi, Carly. Okay, great. Now, everyone, please stand up. Stand up. All right. Okay, great. Now, everyone turn around like this. All right. Oh, please. There's a prize, by the way. There's a prize. Okay, right. Now, everyone turn around like this. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and now Carly, get your camera ready, okay? This is the fun part, right? This is the fun part. Okay, ready? Everyone do what I do. Everybody say, private multi-cloud storage! There's a prize, come on, let's do it. Private multi-cloud storage! Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, we're done, that's it. No, no, okay, right. All right, so anyway, that was fun. Just kind of warm it up. It's good to move around, you know, to the little little walk around like this. Okay, right. So anyway, so I'm Tom, Director of Cloud Services. Um, we have a little company that we put together to help uh, manage your data in a multi-cloud world. So who's using any of those clouds up there? Anyone? Is anyone using more than one cloud that's up there? Oh, all right. Hey, anyone with uh, anyone using Pega Cloud? Oops! Golly, look at this thing. I, I screw, I messed it up, didn't I? Look at that. Wait, I have to fix it. Okay. Anyway, that's that. So we have people using one cloud, we have people using multi-cloud, and ultimately, who cares about managing where their data lives? Anyone? Do you care about where your data lives? Does anybody care where their data lives? Do you care? Why do you care? A lot of your data can't reside. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. If you're in Europe, you got this GDPR thing going on, right? You have to keep your data in country. Okay, Canada, keep it over there, sir. There's a big difference in cost. Big difference in cost. All right. You're on Amazon, obviously, right? No. Oh, you're not. You're what? Google. Google. Oh, Google. All right. Good. Okay, so that's that. So now, do I click the clicker? Is that what I do? Okay, click. Okay, are there any storage admins in the room? Any storage admins? No storage admins. Okay, well, that's good. Um, are there people that uh, find it difficult to, uh, to, to get the right sort of storage for the data on, on, in their office, right? They don't have enough room, it doesn't work fast enough, their applications time out, doesn't work well. Anyone having those problems? Really? All right, I better go home soon. Um, anyway, so when you talk to the, the guys that are managing storage on your, your enterprise network, they'll typically come up with these kinds of things. Firstly, oh, I did it again, didn't I? Look at that. I did it again. All right, so I'll try not to do that again. Um, usually the storage people that are managing all your, your storage where all the data is stored uh, mostly say these things, Arg, I wish people would stop calling me because people are calling them saying I want more storage, I'm trying to get my data from here to there and it doesn't work. And then the people that go to cloud 
I just saying these things. Where's my data and why does it cost so much? I think Sir over there said that, right? Thank you. Well, and then the guy here is in the middle. This could be like a business owner or somebody who's like, oh my gosh, what do I do now? I've got these problems, I've got these problems. I'm kind of stuck in the middle. I have to try and figure out what to do. Are there any people in the room that feel like they're this guy? Really? All right. Okay, well then I'll hit the next slide. So what we, what we uh, want to talk about now is, is talking about, does anyone care about where your data lives and they don't want to be locked into a cloud or anything else? Does anyone care about those things? Sir, he, the, you, you guys, are you, any of you guys cloud people or not? Not really. He's a cloud people. And there looks, ma'am in the back, sir, anyone else? There's a prize, remember there's a prize, there's a prize. Okay, right. okay good. Uh, what our thing does is it helps you stay in control of where your data lives. So what it basically is, is it's um, software that we install in these very nice little servers like this one, or like this little, nice little tower server like this. And this is a little bit technical, so I won't bother to stay on this for too long. But in any case, um, it allows you to put your data on a private storage server that's rather flexible and very high performance, and you can manage very easily, even with a mobile app. Okay, so does anyone care about that? Still not, probably, no. Do you care a little bit? He cares a little bit. Now, this is my one supporter in the room. <laughs> I'm going to get this guy afterwards because I think I'm going to sell him stuff. So that's that, you know. <laughs> and if he doesn't, we'll take him out the back and all that, you know. Um, anyway, so that's it. So where can I use it? Where can I use it? Okay, you can use it on-premise. And is, is there anyone here that's in IT that's managing enterprise data networks or enterprise architecture or any, anything like that? Any enterprise architects here? Sir, over there, look at you. Uh, prize is coming up for you. All right, good. Anyone else know enterprise? Does anyone care how their enterprise uh, services work or their apps, how the apps run? Does anyone have apps that run slowly? Stuff that you open up on your computer, it doesn't run good at, at work? Yes, look at him, him. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, good. So the idea here is that most enterprises they'll have, you know, sort of a primary campus file share, and if they're a large business, a large uh, outfit like um, there was Mam up here that had was uh, with the um, a Department of Energy Labs, I think one of the labs or something like that. They have all these little buildings, right? So all these buildings are connect to the main campus um, office through some sort of a network, and they have a little, and so they could possibly have you know storage in their little building. That's great. Um, so that's fine. So it's on premise. It's in your in your office in your own data center. And what have you. So what is the multi-cloud thing all about? Well, this is it right here. Okay, so um, there's a whole bunch of people that use that use these different clouds. Some use more than one, some use just one, one at a time. And what we do is we have uh, these same little storage servers that you can put in your office or in your in your or whatever, whatever, wherever that is. You can also, yeah, we also have those in our little data center down in Ashburn at Equinix. Does anyone know Equinix? Who, does anyone know what that is? Uh, Got a couple there, got a couple. Oh, very good, very good. Okay, and as you can see here, the idea is that you can put your data right here on this private little box right here, and you can connect it to whatever you like, because that's what the nice thing about Equinix allows you to connect your data set to whatever you like. Okay, and it's over at Ashroom, which is just down, right down the road. And this is how it actually works, right? So this is a little Google map thingy about what we call data center alley. Has anyone heard of data center alley before? Good, man, that's good. Good. Okay, so, so does everybody know where Ashburn is? It's sort of it's that way, I think, is it? Out west, okay, very good. Okay, so we're in Reston. Is this Reston? Reston Tech Talks, now I get it. Finally, I get it. Okay, and so this this little thing, Ashburn here, is located right there on the east coast in North Virginia. And, and as you, some of you may know, about 70% of um, US internet traffic actually flies around through this place, right? Because Equinix and this Ashburn area was, was set up as a way for all these internet, connect, internet service providers and cloud providers to interconnect, which is rather nice because they have to, right? If you've got a server sitting on Verizon or uh, Level 3 or a different ISP backbone, you have to interconnect these backbones somewhere. And what they do is they do it here on the East Coast and they do it in, uh, where's the one in the West Coast? Probably San Francisco, LA or something, right? It's Palo Alto. Palo Alto, okay, yeah. in the Bay Area. Okay, yeah. very good. Yeah, so you have, because obviously you want to, if you're here on the West Coast, you 
want to be connecting to things that are over here in Asia and all those kinds of places, right? Um, and so where we put these little storage servers is in a data center that's sitting right here in one of the Equinix data centers. And then what we do is we have these nice fiber optic connections that connect to all these certain clouds. Now, this is just sort of representation. These, these, this is not exactly where these guys are, but it sort of shows you that we're sitting right here in the middle of all these cloud, uh, cloud providers and all that stuff. So we're sitting right next door to them, right? We're kind of like neighbors. Great, so now what? Does anyone still care or are you all asleep? No? Does anyone still care? Nobody cares? They, okay, the rest of you just go home. Please go home, get out of here. No, I'm trying to sort of, so now what? There's a thing we can do here called Unified Storage Server. So we talked about doing this thing here on premise in your office or wherever that is. Could be a boat or a plane or you know, whatever that is. You can now do this thing with our Ashburn, Virginia right now. Um, we're, we're adding some more sites um, here over time in different cities. But the idea is that you can now create what we call Unified Storage Fabric. Unified Storage Fabric. Can anyone say Unified Storage Fabric? Very good. Very good. Prizes. Pr prizes coming, right? So the idea is that you use our little servers here to, to run in your office. You connect it over some sort of a wide area network connection, whatever that is, right? It could be the internet, could be IPsec tunnel, could be something, right? Um, and then we have the same box here. So these boxes can talk to, oops, I did it again. I did it again. We've got to get a different clicker. I hate this clicker. All right. We'll great clicker. It. It's okay. a great clicker. I hate the clicker. That's a great clicker. I don't hate you, Steve. I just hate the clicker. It's a great clicker. It's a great clicker. I'm, I'm, what's that? Put it in the survey. I'll put it. Who said that? Okay. Special prize for you. Okay. Come and see me afterwards, please. All right. Um, so this is unified storage fabric. Okay. So does anyone think that this makes sense? I mean, I think it makes sense, this is why I built it. But the idea is that you can have all your data here privately on a, on a box that you can actually know where it is. Same thing here, you can have your data here on a box where you also know where it is, because in this case, this box is in Ashburn. Okay? But you can connect your data to any single cloud or more than one cloud because you just basically set up a shared a file share. Like who know, who has a file share on the computer? Like you say, hey, I save it to my S drive or my Z drive at the office. Does, does anyone have those? Or am I way out of date again? They have them. They have them. Okay, good. So basically the idea is that you can keep your, your data here at your office here and you can also keep it sitting right next to the clouds but not actually in the cloud. All right, does this make sense to anyone? Does anyone care? I think you care. You care, and I think there's a couple of others. All right. And so the question now is, um, how do I get, who wants to get private multi-cloud storage? Is there anyone in the room that has an interest in getting it? Or trying it out, anyone? No one. I've done not a very good job, have I? It's not very good, is it? Do you think I should just leave, or what? I mean, <laughs> leave, I don't know. Anyway, if you are interested in getting your very own private multi-class storage, what do you do? You call me and have a chat. And if it's a good chat, we'll have lunch. And then you can have me meet your cloud people, but if you're not a cloud people yet, we can make you into a cloud people, okay? So don't worry about that. We can do a POC and we can have a beer if it works well. All right? And then if it really works very well and the beer goes well, then you can get your own thing and we'll help you set it up. Are there any questions? Any questions? Sir? All right, hold on. Let me bring over the mic. Let me bring over the mic. Everyone first give Tom a round of applause, everybody. Hey, thanks a lot, Tom. It looks it looks pretty cool. Um, is there anyone else doing this? Oh, wait, I still talk. Okay, yeah. What's up? Is there anyone else doing this? Is there anyone else and doing do you what? Venture, the little, you venture back? The little dance or what? The little... No, so anyone else uh, offering a private cloud, sharing it to the public cloud solution? I know, you didn't say it right. Private multi, private multi cloud storage. Come on. Private, private multi cloud storage. Thank you. Uh, yes, there are other people doing it. Are they doing as well as we are? Who knows? But it's a it's a multi billion dollar market, and we just want a little piece of it. And um, by by the way, we have nice people, not me, but we have nice people that will help you. Um, so yeah, does that answer your question? Yes, you. Oh great. Any other questions? Any other questions for Tom this Any evening? Questions. No questions. Anybody? Anybody? All right, everyone get a round of a round of applause, please.